All right, take number two. Reported in the newspaper today, Kim Jong-il is going to pursue long-range nuclear missiles. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this take out. Here's the bottom line. Let me give you some background for a moment, if you will. There's something out there called capitalism. It works pretty good in the short run. American economy has proven that to be successful to the extent that our major competitor, Gorbachev and the you know, former Soviet Union, graciously folded. Now, regretfully, Gorbachev didn't understand the entire significance of capitalism. He should have leveraged that folding a little bit more. He basically got squat out of it, and as a result, about a hundred of their nuclear weapons were just kind of sold out there on the black market. There was really no accountability, and they lacked the financing to be able to maintain their security. And so we have a situation where I'm guessing that Kim Jong-il and a number of other players acquired some of them. And so essentially speaking, he went ahead and he tried to participate in this idea called capitalism. He participated in it in a pretty bad way because there's another concept of capitalism that means that you integrate into some sort of society and they have rules and they have ethics. And he failed to market himself in such a way that he could go ahead and pursue the uh, nuclear reactors. That's right. His nuclear reactors had to have been shut down. He was put under pressure by five other competitors or five other nations out there. Okay, But, in fact, it was a pretty good business decision for him because what did he get to come back to the table and shut those things down temporarily? About $25 million cash from Macau. You know what that can buy you on a black market? You know what 25 mil can get you? It can get you probably in the market of uh, putting a down payment on a nuclear weapon. So that's my guess. He shut those reactors down, took his 25 mil, and is building a new revolutionary long-term missile to threaten the other players in the capitalist system that be. What, what do you think? What's your take on this, folks?